Hi and welcome to Economics Week 23. So this week we'll be delving into tax structures, tax bases, federal budget expenditures, state budget planning, and current issues facing the U.S. government in its federal budget. So we're going to navigate the intricacies of these economic policies. So tax, tax structures excuse me, form the backbone of government revenue generation dictating how taxes are levied on individuals and businesses. These structures vary widely across countries and can have significant implications for economic equity and efficiency. In the U.S., tax structures include progressive taxes, where the tax rate increases as income rises, regressive taxes, which take a larger percentage of income from lower-income individuals, and proportional taxes, where everyone pays the same percentage of their income in taxes. Now, complementing them, uh, them being tax structures, are tax bases. So the sources of income or activities that governments tax to generate new revenue are known as bases. These bases can encompass various categories, including income, sales, property, and corporate profits. Understanding them is crucial for policymakers to design effective policies that balance revenue needs with economic growth and equity. So then we'll turn our attention to the U.S. federal budget. Now expenditures are classified into several categories, each serving distinct purposes and facing unique challenges. Mandatory spending, which accounts for a significant portion of the budget, includes entitlement programs like Social Security, Medicare and Medicaid, as well as interest payments on the national debt. These expenditures are determined by laws and obligations and are not subject to annual appropriations. In contrast, discretionary spending represents funds that Congress can adjust each year through the appropriations process. This category go covers a wide range of government functions, including defense, education, transportation, healthcare, and environmental protection. Discretionary spending allocations reflect policymakers' priorities and often spark heated debates over resource allocation and government priorities. And while federal budgeting captures much attention, state governments also play a critical role in fiscal policy through their budget planning processes. State budgets allocate resources to essential services such as education, healthcare, and public safety. Governors and state uh, legislatures collaborate to craft budgets that address the needs of their constituents while adhering to fiscal constraints. State budget planning involves forecasting revenue streams, prioritizing spending, and navigating competing demands within limited resources. Decisions made during this process have far-reaching implications for public services, economic development, and the overall well-being of state residents. Balancing the budget requires careful consideration of revenue sources, expenditure priorities, and long-term fiscal sustainability. Now, finally, we will be examining the current state of the U.S. federal budget. Uh, several pressing issues come to light. Perhaps most prominently, the national debt has reached unprecedented levels, raising concerns about fiscal sustainability and future generations' economic well-being. Additionally, funding entitlement programs like Social Security and Medicaid and Medicare pose significant challenges as the population ages and healthcare costs rise. Moreover, debates persist over the appropriate level of defense spending infrastructure investment, and social safety net programs. Economic inequality remains a persistent issue, with calls for policies that promote inclusive growth and address disparities in income and wealth. Policymakers grapple with these complex issues as they strive to balance competing priorities and chart a path toward a more prosperous and equitable future. So with that, we'll conclude the week on our topics from tax structures and federal budget expenditures to state budget planning and current fiscal challenges. We're gonna explore these facets in more detail in class. 
So I want to thank you, and I look forward to seeing you all and working with you next week. Thank you.